it's important to remember that there's not a trigger point that's going to necessarily change uh, dramatically what we do. What we've been doing over the last two and a half months is preparing our health care systems, working together with the provinces and territories, assessing what they need, making sure that our public health systems are robust, doing all of the contact tracing that we need to do to prevent the spread of disease in our communities. And as we see community transmission grow, as we see uh, more people falling ill, in fact, the announcement we made today around the $1 billion, including half a billion dollars for provinces and territories, is part of that preparedness. It's making sure that now that we understand kind of where some of those deficits might be from a provincial health care perspective, that we can quickly get the money out the door to provinces and territories so that they can use it in a way that ensures their hospice, hospital systems are well situated or that they can use innovation in the way that they're supporting people who potentially are isolating at home or, or may have symptoms of COVID-19.